anime. Hey, what is good, yo? I should probably make sure my audio is working, but I'm just gonna trust you guys. You guys are nodding your head like, yeah, we can hear you, brother. We can hear you, and I appreciate you. Where'd my shotgun go? Where's my super suit? Oh, no. But with Pet this week, I thought, what better place than to be in a water-infested world? And if maybe he broke in his mind, he would just be trapped there. Oh, my God. And, pe and people he... Oh, my God. Oh, um, and people that he has met or people that, you know, he's still alive. But in his mind, he's absolutely destroyed. So people that are, like, walking by and stuff like that would... Oh, I know where I am now. Okay. Dang, I'm back. Um, they would know just what the heck has happened in the grand scheme of... He just looks like a crazy guy and stuff like that. But in his mind, he's actually, like, you know, doing... He's fighting for his life in his mind, but not really uh, in the real world, right? He's just kind of there in the real world so it's stuff like this that really reminds you uh just how crazy someone can make a world like turn out to be not only that um <clears throat> i was looking more into what could be possible thanks to this power right thanks to the power that has been oops that has been received what what truly is possible at the end of the day when you take um, the strength and just the absolute like manipulation ability of these people and after you take it you just do whatever you need to be done and after um after, so what we heard about why they're called pets is because whenever you have a pointer dog and you are doing your overall thing, pointer dogs always continue to look at what they're designed to look at until the owner says otherwise. And that's just how it's supposed to be. They're, so, oh, they're supposed to be there and because of how things are turning out in this show that's why the pet phrase is so good it's because they train these guys who are crushers to do certain things at the end oh my god at the end of the day and once that is done you start to look more into uh, <clears throat> what could bring forward you know the most the most um, efficient way to make sure they never go against you to make sure they never you know even have the thought process to think they can go against you know that's that's kind of how these people work and think so to think of anything otherwise in the case of them treating them nice or anything like that it's clearly going to be a farce and that was clear when um we got a little bit more on who the guy was behind closed doors uh, who was kind of like manipulating his sister or his niece I think yeah his niece and just to have her um, you know really do things that she did not want to do in the case of she wanted to know who her mom and you know oh my god oh my god wrong one uh, she wanted to know who her mother was and to do so she has uh, an idea of what she can do to find out right she thinks if she goes and um, goes and looks in the mind of somebody that could have met her met her mother then she would be able to learn something about her but because her father and mother are both deceased she are not with there anymore how do i heal um oh, that just goes to show you like where you know how, where these guys are going and how far they will go to get what they want they'll <coughs> pretty much crush 
anybody's parents just like we saw in the very beginning till now right like up to this part of the show we have seen nothing but the crushing of you know people in general i'm trying to learn how to heal oh i healed i don't know how i did it but we out here so yeah i thought seeing how far our character goes this week to you know crush and destroy his mentor's mind and so far as to go to destroy his own was the great thing and i think this is what it would look like right like your mind is crushed and you see people still kind of doing stuff but you can't tell what's reality or not you're just you're just stuck in a position where you think everything is real and everything is not fake so yeah pet is becoming one of the more crazier shows i have watched and enjoyed because not only has things kept me like interested in a, as a whole um but it also feels like not much is going to be um not much is going to be very like different right like everything seems really oh my god relatively uh straightforward and open-minded that if they start doing very forward and closed off stuff that are very simple or probably come into the conclusion of the story or something right like oh my god those are the types of things that I can kind of read through this uh, show at times, and other times it's just, it just starts going off the rails, so seeing how much, like, pull, uh, you know, wear and tear you can do on your mental mind, just because you wanted to, um, just because you wanted to really push forward your, you know, your own defenses we really got to see what it looks like when you are are vulnerable right like our main character was smart enough to use his brain to protect himself while the other guy is still trying to figure out just what the heck um this guy is going trying to do right instead of figuring out what he needs to protect he's too busy and worried about how this is happening why it's happening and how he can stop it so he really uh he really started losing it in my opinion and didn't really have a chance uh once he just didn't focus on what he truly needed to do and not to mention this is another like funny thing of just what happens when you start sharing your peak and your you know your happiest moments with people because then it's linked to others who have seen it and thus making it easier for them to get in and no ways in so very very crazy stuff the the powers of the mind are very limited to people who have somewhat uh somewhat of a you know oh i scared the crap out of me <coughs> somewhat of a connection to the people that have you know met in their peak or their valleys or whatever that's when you truly get into the battles of the images and stuff but if you don't do that if you don't have that you know way in you should say you can say then you're really just looking at a looking at a show where all of a sudden you don't know how far or how crazy a battle can get until somebody gets their mind broken and boom you have yourself you know a ridiculous story as well as the power not being too broken right like you have to get close to these people you have to you know somehow attach to them not only do that there's got to be people not around you so you don't get interrupted um there's a lot that comes with attacking someone that has the same powers with you because there needs to be. It shouldn't be super, super easy. But as of right now, it seems pretty easy to completely um, hemip- hemipulate 
uh, and I can't even say it. <laughs> Uh, it's easier to mess with those people that you've already seen just because you know what it looks like, you know what it feels, and that's why um, when that kid does it to the person that's pretty much his boss, it doesn't doesn't take much for him to figure out what he needs to do to him to pretty much learn and, and crush his mind because he was just looking forward to it, and so once he found anything that really gave him that uh, implication that he can do that he you know for sure he went for it so I'm really interested in seeing where Pet ends up where we're going to see the rest of the show because as of now I honestly think it's one of the more terrifying shows lately um, just because of the psyche of the mind like I would never want to think that I do stuff because someone else is just forcing it upon me, right? Or not even, oh my god, not even forcing it, just being, a, having some reason for it, right? Like, any reason for it is pretty nutty, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do with this whole entire powers and where it goes. So if you are too, let me know in the comments down below, or... Just by watching, it lets your boy know. So, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I am your old boy, the anime chick. And I will definitely talk to you as soon as I possibly can. So, with all that being said, take care and peace. Some good coffee.